Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today I'm going to be trying out the Nurgle in a T2 Abyss. My goal is to be able to get this to solo T3 Abysses. I'm not sure if I'll be able to accomplish that, but anyway, to be able to do that, I'm going to have to start low. And I'll be starting off with T2 Abyss. So, the Nurgle, the reason I even want to start this to begin with is because this is the Triglavian assault frigate and the thing is with this ship is that it's really good because it can spool up to good amounts of damage thing is with solo frigate abyss running a bit of an issue you have sometimes is that you don't do enough dps so like frigates you know obviously they're going to do a lot less dps than cruisers so this is going to take a long longer time to get through the sites so you know that could be an issue at the time it can definitely be an issue the thing is with the nuggle you see here it's got 250 dps it's got quite decent drone damage actually 750 dps from drones and 170 a modest 176 dps from the turrets or the disintegrators so that 176 dps is about the same amount as my retribution has with aurora which is the long range ammo so it's not the best because I'm using a short range ammo right now, but this is the thing. It can spool up to crazy amounts of damage. In fact, it can spool up to, I think, over 400 DPS. So it can become really high when it comes to the single targets and like the battleship waves. Also, it has really good tracking, so they don't need to have any kind of, uh, or at least that's what I've heard, that it's got really good tracking so that I do not have to have any kind of tracking modules. Uh, this fit actually is kind of like a modified fit uh, that I am actually initially made to do in like duos or trios. That's why it's got a small small remote armor pair but i just had it on there because i couldn't really fit anything else at the moment so we're going to try this out there are two types of filaments i was considering to use and one was electrical and one was firestorm the reason i was thinking firestorm is because the disintegrators they do thermal damage and in firestorm the enemy ships have reduced thermal resistance so it would be favorable for us to do the thermal damage or to do the firestorm filaments but then I was thinking that since this ship is going to be up and close, then newts are going to be very effective on this little guy right here. And frigates, you know, in general, they don't have very strong capacitors. So we've got dual cap batteries to get as much resistance of the capacitor resistance or newting resistance as possible. Plus, doing the electrical will give us even more capacitor. So that's why I'm going to start out with the electrical just to play a bit more safe. It's not going to be so efficient because we're not going to be doing EM damage, but we're going to try it out. Uh, it's actually in fact we've got actually the wrong drone so i'll ch i'll change them real quick there we go i've got the imperial navy or the amar drones to do em em damage they'll be favorable in the electrical filaments and i i really like the skin actually this is just a skin i got because i'm on the test server and i'm probably going to buy this in tranquility if i start using the knuckle in the abyss i think it looks really cool with this like carbon fiber sort of texture you can see here that's really cool. So let's start this. You obviously you have to be in a fleet. If you're not new, if you're new to Frigate Abyss, you always have to be in a fleet, even if you're doing the solo. Then you activate the filament and go and take it. So we're going to do T2, agitated ones. So I, I hope that you know I'll survive this. This is the thing. I've never actually flown a Nurgle before, so I maybe even should have started with T1, but. I thought maybe T1 is going to be a little bit too easy because I can do that in a purifier. So I was thinking, okay, let's do T2. But T2 is, the jump from T1 to T2 is actually quite massive, actually. Okay, so we've got a bunch of these guys. And this has got two newting guys. So this is going to put the capacitor really to test. You can see, oh, 24 gigatools to spare. That's really good. We go here, activate this, armor repair. We'll go in range and I'll use Mystic. Mystic is the longer range ammo. So that is what I'm going to just use initially, actually. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it initially. Let's have to just get in close and close and judge what I'll do then. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much I'll spool up. We'll keep an eye on the spooling up. That'll be interesting to see. Look at we're tanking actually pretty good. Look at this. They're not doing much damage at all to me to be honest. This and just wrap up straight away. Whoop. Wrap up. Okay. We'll then we're gonna we're gonna use occult right here. I'm gonna take out the sentinel because there's newting. Okay. Start shooting. No, we don't want to wrap, we'll wrap him. Stop that. We don't even need this. Let's orbit him at 2.5. It seems like we're orbiting it too far away. Mm -hmm. We're not that fast with the Nurgle. Only 800 meters per second. I would have hoped a bit faster. But we are using an afterburner after all. <laughs> okay, let's see now. So what are we at? 185 DPS. What is this? 194 DPS. Ooh, we're spooling up pretty quickly. 200 DPS. Ooh. <laughs> Again, after some pretty good numbers. Soon we're going to go to 300 DPS. That's... Oh, wait. Actually, also, use my drones. Obviously, drones. We need drones. And, you know, when we get to 300 DPS, that's going to be equivalent of what we have with the, you know, retribution with the, the Imperial Navy multi-frequency. 
So we're soon even approaching that. In fact, we probably even are there just about now. <laughs> and then plus the drones. The drones are also doing extra 75 damage as well. So doing pretty high amounts of damage right now. Oh, we're taking actually quite a bit of damage, but it should be all right. Our capacitor has no issue with these little neuters right here because we've got two... We've got two camp batteries plus the electrical filament. It is just really good. Let's get the drones on this guy right here. We've got an armor up. It's a little bit bling. And I want to just try it just to be a bit like safe for the first time. Then if I can actually get it to be able to run the filaments, then I'll probably cheapen up just so that I'm like until I'm able to like at the bare minimum with the cheapest amount of is possible able to run the filaments. Okay, so I'm not sure if this will be able to do T3 because you see I saw here we're getting to 25% armor 25% armor and we are in T2 So oh wait, no, he went out of range now Oh, we're a bit closer. Yeah, this is the thing with the disintegrators. If you get out of range, they stop working Okay, the thing is I had armor at 25% and that's not looking good considering we're in the T2 If we're in the T3, it's gonna be quite a bit worse Mm -hmm. Let's see where the DPS are now to already to it goes quite quickly to 200 actually So you could almost even consider this to just be like 200 DPS because it just goes so quickly to 200 It's really good then again. Also remember the occult range is really tiny not at all good Not at all good at all in fact We could pro I'm also using a pyrolancia dose 2 that gives a bit of a bonus to tracking uh, or DPS and tracking Let's get close to this guy we're still out of range of this guy. In fact, let's put the oh, we go with default optimal range is to orbit one thousand. So you basically just face tank stuff here. This tanky Nurgle just doesn't give a crap. It's like we're really made to tank stuff really well at close range because we've got the afterburner. So signature radius is going to be tiny. Got really good neutering resistance with the dual, dual cap batteries. And then we've got the electrical filament and all that and stuff. So it's really good. And then especially if I had a friend. Then you could use this like small armor repair and get even more tanks. That would be so good actually. Because the Truglavians have a bonus to their remote armor repairs. Let's see now, what was it? They had some remote armor repair capacitor need, yeah. So we'll hardly use any capacitor at all actually. Let's go to the transfer conduit now. Okay, that guy died pretty quickly. And the time is four minutes, so not the best time. But could be worse. Could be worse. Also, I but then again, it is T2, so I would have hoped a bit better things from this, but I'm also new to using a Nurgle. I'm not like, this is the first time I'm ever flying a Nurgle. In fact, it's the first time I'm ever flying a Triglavian ship. I've never flown a Triglavian ship before. I have trained to be able to fly like Vedmax, Damavix, but I've never actually used them because they've, I've never had really any like, reason to use them. Okay, so we've got the Rogue Drone Battle Cruisers. So these could pose a threat because of how they do crazy amounts of damage at close range let's see if we can tank them i wonder if we can tank them otherwise if there was like a lot of them then probably we would have to use the mystic ammo that gives a bit of a longer range maybe it could actually even be used to spool up let's see what's the difference 170 let's just use mystic let's just just try using mystic uh, orbit 10 kilometers okay let's go and orbit 10 kilometers and use mystic let's shoot our drones as well the drones will help pull off aggro from it Okay, mm -hmm. so we're taking we're taking hits, but it's not like mega big hits. Glances off hits, it's not too bad. Not not too much to worry about. Okay, we've got a hit there. That's uh, not so nice. Okay, let's see now. What is our DPS looking at right now? 180. So we're basically at occult damage right now. Aha. Uh -huh, okay, it seems to also be spooling up a bit less than occult as well. So that actually kind of makes a bit sense because you've kind of got like a base damage and then it kind of multiplies it over time. Okay, recall the drones. This is the thing. It's good to have some drones with the rogue drone battle cruisers because they they can act as a bit of a bait. You know, you can see here that strike grip is going a yellow box now. He's going back to a red box, but. It can be used a bit of like as a bait, sort of. So this last one, I'm going to go in Occult because it seems like we're tanking pretty well at this range. And even if we do take a bit of damage, it's only one of them. So it's not too much to worry about. We want to get through the site as quick as possible. Let's orbit this guy. At 500 to 2,500. Yeah, I even got the hockey. I just, for I just forgot about the hockey. I could have just clicked here. Let's click here. And get close. Shoot the... Or not shoot, but launch the drones. Launch the drone. Unleash the drones on this guy. Hmm. I wonder if this guy is going to be able to hit me because he should have some issue hitting me. Come on, now I'm a tiny little frigate with a afterburner. Oh, that guy sniped one of my drones. No, 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 no. That's not good. <laughs> he sniped one of my drones. What was this? He sniped an infiltrator. I think it was because I think I have two infiltrators. 
and a acolyte actually okay we're taking quite a bit of damage that's not good that's not good but I mean I think we'll be able to get through him because we're doing damage quite significantly 300 DPS now 300 DPS up this strike give Tesla and we're repping as well like it's a good you know we're going into low armor but I think we're gonna get through it what 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 a wrecking shot oh my god <laughs> Oh, man, that sucked so hard. This is the thing, you know, there's always a chance that is 1% chance or something that you can have something called a wrecking shot. And for you guys who do not know, wrecking shots are basically a shot that lands that does not care about your tracking. You can be a tiny ship orbiting as fast as you want, they'll still hit. They have also unlimited range, so you can be a thousand kilometers away and if you shoot it, it'll still hit. And it'll also do uh, like three times more damage than a normal hit. So that's a big thing to think about with the Frigate Abyss because the wrecking shots can be pretty deadly when you've got quite low EHP ships, which frigates are compared to cruisers. So that was a bit of a sad ending there. Probably I it would have just been better to just straight up go with the Mystic, I can imagine. That's something I learned for next time. So I'm probably going to do another T2 site. And then if I complete that, then I will go to T3. But it definitely does not seem like I'm ready to go T3 now because I, you know, that didn't at all go well. Also, I'm learning a bit. This is I'm not too familiar with the Triglavian ships, but it seems definitely like Mystic would be a better option for the Rogue Drum Battle Cruisers at least. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.